got to say, the first time I heard our designers came up with the concept, I was a little mystified as, as to why we would do this. And then I thought about the idea. And I thought this could actually be a kick-ass idea. So I know Wargaming has a reputation of being innovators in the online space, especially in free-to-play and MOBA. But I think that we can sort of learn from, from our uh, competitors and, and take the concept. So the more I think about it, I think that what a great idea. We should absolutely do this. So I can safely announce now, I think, that coming very soon, all of our titles will have zombie mode implemented. So zombies are pretty much all the rage these days. If you look at what all the top studios are doing, they all seem to have a zombie mode. We also have zombie books, zombie movies. Probably weren't too surprised, actually, when one of the lads in Mints came up with the idea. But uh, they tasked him with it anyway. And has to say, the, the end result he got was <laughs> really kind of awesome. You might think that killing zombies with a tank is pretty easy. I mean, driver, track, zombie, drive and adjust, or use your HE or AP, whatever, accordingly, depending on what your end results are. But there's all sorts of variations it can have. I mean, if you have side skirts, does that mean that the zombie can't climb on top of your tank so easily? Or if you don't have side skirts, is it more likely to get caught up in your road wheels? Anyway, here's the one interesting thing, though. The AI is fantastic. We're not going to have dumb, brainless zombies. These guys are going to learn. They'll adapt as you go. They will try to infect your crew, and players will have to work together and develop new tactics in order to try to survive. It took us by surprise. We weren't expecting the designers to come up with this. So we were challenged to come up with different scenarios and options and different modes for implementing the zombies. It's a little bit too early to say right now what, what all of these options will be, but I can safely announce that it will be an escort mode of zombies in World of Tanks. Of course, beta players for World of Warplanes are all familiar with the ground attack aircraft and that they got these fantastic AI gunners. They really are quite lethal, especially against a lone attacking fighter. Now, of course, that said, the gunner is vulnerable. You can shoot the gunner if you're an attacking fighter, kill the gunner. It takes a bit of skill, but you can do it. If you think about it, 10 seconds after you kill the, kill the uh, fighter plane, the, the gunner comes back as a zombie and, and you have to kill him again. Terrain is an important tactical component in air combat and in an urban setting you have buildings and the such so you can quite easily weed through to lose your opponent. But trees? What does that mean? Skillful players of course will be familiar with the concept of terrain following. It's a great way of shaking off and pursuing aircraft and maybe giving you a little bit more survivability. Green used to be good. Uh, of course there's a bit of a catch now these days. If you go with uh, too close to the trees, well who knew? It turns out that zombies can climb trees. So there they are, just hanging just below the uh, foliage roof, and uh, their arms outstretched, they will climb onto any aircraft that flies by. Uh, so uh, the more zombies you have on your aircraft, the heavier it is, you've got your power to weight ratio problems, you've got more drag, your aircraft is going to become slower, less maneuverable. So zombies are very definitely a hazard, even before you worry about whether or not they're going to infect the pilot. Having a zombie on one wing, what are you going to do? Fly into the trees to catch another one? Like, your plane will be out of balance, you won't be able to fly. Pro tip, stay clear of pine trees. Zombies love them. We have no idea why, but they'll hang out there by the dozen. Maybe it's a smell of resin or something. Don't know. It's a funny thing about zombie AI. These guys are incredibly smart. We never thought we'd see the things we did. Now, should I add, it's often not a good idea to try to shoot a zombie. Chances are, if you don't get a headshot, you'll just make them mad. We still have some development left to do. There's still tweaks to uh, the zombie AI and um, the different animations for killing zombies. But I think we're fairly close and I think that the game really does benefit from having zombies in.